Everyone knows Dean Martin is a gentleman, charismatic, and has many talents. Dubbed the King of Cool, Dean took his career to the top and became the most iconic crooner of his generation. However, if we only know those things about Dean Martin, it is not enough. His life and career are much more worth mentioning than that. Today, Dean's daughter will reveal the entire untold truth about him. Let's get started. Dean Martin, born as Dino Crocetti, emerged from humble beginnings deeply rooted in his parents' Italian heritage. Raised in Steubenville, Ohio, Dean's early life was shaped by the cultural influences of his Italian-American family. His father, originally from Italy, earned a living as a barber, while his mother, a skilled seamstress and cook, added a touch of Italian warmth to the household. Growing up, Dean's primary language was Italian, and it wasn't until he entered school at the age of five that he began to learn English. This linguistic transition proved challenging, and his heavy Italian accent became a source of teasing among his peers. Despite this initial obstacle, Dean quickly adapted to the new language, demonstrating resilience and determination from an early age. However, formal education was not the path Dean ultimately followed. He departed from school during the 11th grade, opting for a different journey. His first job was as a steel mill hand, providing a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour he would later be associated with. Subsequently, he took on the role of a gas station attendant, embodying the blue-collar spirit of the time. In a surprising turn of events, Dean Martin found himself drawn to the world of boxing, where he pursued a career under the alias Kid Crochet. The pugilistic venture proved to be successful, with Dean participating in 36 fights and emerging victorious in 25 of them. His boxing prowess showcased his physical abilities and tenacity, setting the stage for what would be a transformative period in his life. Fortune, however, had other plans for Dean Martin. Recognizing his unique vocal talents, someone astutely pointed out that he had a gift for singing. This revelation prompted a shift in his trajectory, leading him to the vibrant world of nightclubs across the country. Dean's smooth voice and charismatic stage presence quickly captivated audiences, laying the foundation for a career that would see him become one of the most iconic entertainers in the history of American popular culture. Dean Martin's life took a pivotal turn during a performance in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where he encountered a comedic force that would shape his career and leave an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. This force was none other than the legendary Jerry Lewis. The meeting between Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis proved serendipitous, sparking the formation of one of the most successful comedy duos in history. Their partnership, spanning an enchanting decade, was nothing short of magical. Martin and Lewis seamlessly blended their talents, creating a comedic synergy that resonated with audiences across the nation. The duo's collaboration extended beyond the stage, with a remarkable 17 movies to their credit. Their on-screen chemistry was not limited to the big screen. They also became regular fixtures on the Colgate Comedy Hour, a highly popular television show during the burgeoning era of television. What set Martin and Lewis apart was not just their individual talents, but the unique alchemy that occurred when they came together. Both exceptionally gifted, they complemented each other in ways that elevated their performances to unparalleled heights. However, their connection transcended the professional realm as they developed a deep and genuine friendship in private. This camaraderie added an authentic dimension to their work, infusing their shows and films with a warmth and authenticity that resonated with audiences. Jerry Lewis, reflecting on their dynamic partnership, captured the essence of their appeal succinctly. He noted the diverse fan base that Martin and Lewis attracted individually. Dean's fans included men, women, and Italians, while Jerry's fan base comprised women, Jews, and kids. Yet when they joined forces as Martin and Lewis, their appeal became universal. The duo achieved a rare feat, captivating audiences across demographics and transcending individual preferences. As Lewis eloquently expressed, 
Whether it was Dean singing or Jerry going wild, it was all part of the Martin and Lewis experience. As Martin and Lewis skyrocketed to the zenith of Hollywood stardom, they became the hottest and highest paid entertainers in the industry. Their comedic chemistry was unparalleled, delighting audiences across various mediums for a remarkable decade. However, the seemingly unstoppable duo eventually faced an unexpected and painful breakup that would cast a shadow over their once thriving partnership. After a decade of shared success, Martin and Lewis decided to part ways, leaving fans and the entertainment industry stunned. The aftermath of their separation was marked by a profound silence. The former friends refrained from engaging in private conversations for a staggering 20 years. Speculation surrounding the abrupt end of their collaboration abounded, and while numerous theories emerged, the truth behind their split was multifaceted. A widely accepted explanation for the dissolution of their partnership revolved around divergent work ethics. Jerry Lewis, characterized as a relentless workaholic, possessed boundless energy and an insatiable drive to produce more movies, shows, and live performances. In contrast, Dean Martin, while certainly industrious, maintained a more relaxed approach to his career. For Dean, balancing work with personal pursuits was paramount. He cherished moments on the golf course, showcasing his skill as a scratch golfer, and prioritized quality time with his family. Beyond the variance in work ethos, another factor contributing to the breakup was Dean Martin's desire to break free from the constraints of being exclusively cast in romantic lead roles. The entertainment industry had pigeonholed him, and he yearned for the opportunity to explore a broader range of characters and roles. This aspiration clashed with the established dynamic of their partnership, ultimately playing a role in the decision to go their separate ways. Despite their undeniable success, there was a pervasive perception that Jerry Lewis was the real star of the duo, relegating Dean Martin to the status of the fifth wheel. This perception was exacerbated when Luke Magazine, in a move that would prove a detrimental to their partnership, decided to feature Martin and Lewis on their cover in 1954, but published the photo with Martin cropped out. The incident left Dean Martin feeling betrayed and undervalued. The subtle yet impactful act of excluding him from the cover image fueled existing tensions between the two comedians. Arguments escalated and the strain on their professional relationship became increasingly palpable. The rift reached a point where it became untenable for them to continue working together. During a particularly heated exchange, Dean Martin, feeling the weight of frustration and perhaps sensing a growing disparity in their perceived contributions, shouted at Jerry Lewis that he was nothing to me but a dollar sign. This moment crystallized the deep-seated issues and resentment that had been festering beneath the surface. Despite their significant contributions to each other's success, the strain proved insurmountable, leading to the dissolution of their partnership. The fellow was emotionally charged, and the aftermath of their separation was marked by a profound silence. For 20 years, D. and Martin and Jerry Lewis refrained from engaging in private conversations, leaving a void that haunted Lewis for the rest of his life. Reflecting on the painful outcome of their split, Jerry Lewis expressed regret for the way it all ended. The realization that they didn't talk to each other for two decades weighed heavily on him. In later years, Lewis candidly acknowledged the short-sightedness and ignorance that fueled their prolonged silence, lamenting the unnecessary distance that had grown between them. The stupidity of that, I cannot expound on. The ignorance of that is something I hope I'll always forget, Lewis said, encapsulating the profound sense of loss and missed opportunities that defined this chapter in the lives of two entertainment legends. The legacy of Martin and Lewis is undeniably marked by their unparalleled success, but also by the poignant story of a friendship that, for a time, succumbed to the pressures and complexities of fame. The Tale of Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis took an unexpected turn towards reconciliation, offering a heartwarming conclusion to their once strained relationship. In 1976, the catalyst for this emotional reunion 
was none other than their mutual friend and legendary entertainer, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra, a frequent guest on the Jerry Lewis MDA Labor Day Telethon, orchestrated a surprise that would resonate as one of the most touching moments in television history. During the telethon, Frank Sinatra, with a sense of theatrical suspense, introduced Dean Martin to Jerry Lewis, saying, I have a friend who loves what you do every year. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation, and as the two former friends came face to face, emotions ran high. The unexpected reunion unfolded on live television, captivating around 85 million American viewers. The on-air embrace between Martin and Lewis was nothing short of epic. After a 20-year silence, this historic TV moment became a symbol of forgiveness and reconnection. The genuine warmth and affection between the two men were palpable, and it marked the beginning of a new chapter in their relationship. Following the emotional reunion in 1976, Martin and Lewis rekindled their friendship. Contrary to the years of silence that had defined their post-breakup relationship, they began talking to each other daily. The reconciliation was not only a personal triumph, but also a testament to the enduring power of friendship and forgiveness. Deanna Martin, Dean Martin's daughter, has provided additional insights into the renewed bond between her father and Jerry Lewis. In interviews aimed at preserving her father's legacy, Deanna shared that the two men kept in regular contact after their reconciliation. Jerry Lewis, in particular, harbored a deep affection for Dean Martin, and the feeling was reciprocated. Despite their busy lives, the rekindled friendship endured, bridging the gaps that had once seemed insurmountable. Reflecting on this period, Deanna Martin remarked in a 2019 interview with Fox News, they kept in touch with each other. Jerry just loved my dad, and my dad loved Jerry. I think Jerry would have liked to have been closer after that, but my dad was... If he wasn't working, he was playing golf. The reconciliation not only mended the rift between two entertainment legends, but also served as a poignant reminder of the enduring power of forgiveness and the joy that can come from reconnecting with long-lost friends. His personal life was characterized by a loving and blended family. His first marriage to Elizabeth MacDonald brought four children into his life, and after the marriage ended, he embarked on a second marital journey with Jean, with whom he had three more children. This dynamic family structure reflected the depth of Dean's commitment to his loved ones, and his relationships extended beyond his immediate family to include close ties with the Sinatras. While Dean and his Rat Pack companion, Frank Sinatra, were known for their nights on the town, they also made a concerted effort to share joint family outings. The connection between the Martin and Sinatra families was more than just a public facade. Dean's daughter, Dina, highlighted the genuine camaraderie that existed among the children from both families, emphasizing that, the Sinatras were a big part of our lives, and the kids from the two families were great pals. However, the idyllic domestic scene underwent a profound transformation after the tragic death of Dean's son, Dean Paul Dino, in 1987. Dino, a captain in the air, National Guard, disappeared in the mountains during a training mission. The subsequent search for him became a high-profile and heart-wrenching ordeal, with even President Ronald Reagan deploying a military plane to aid in the search. The aftermath of Dino's death left Dean Martin shattered. The renowned entertainer, known for his affable demeanor, found himself grappling with an unimaginable loss. According to friends and those close to him, something within Dean changed fundamentally after the tragic event. His grief was profound, and he struggled to navigate through life with the same vigor and joy that had characterized him before. In a desperate attempt to find closure, Dean turned to unconventional means. He enlisted the help of psychics, including one named Char, in the search for his son. Char, flying in a private helicopter, identified a region she believed gave the strongest signals and ultimately located the crashed jet, confirming the devastating outcome with no survivors. The impact of Dino's death on Dean Martin's psyche was palpable, 
As recounted by his friend Jerry Vale, after Dino's death, it seemed he was just walking through life. The personal tragedy casts a long shadow over the legendary entertainer, underscoring the profound and enduring impact that family bonds and profound loss can have on even the most celebrated figures. Dean Martin's devotion to family was a defining aspect of his personal life. Despite the glamorous world of show business that he inhabited, his heart remained anchored to the bonds he shared with those closest to him. Deanna Martin, one of Dean's daughters, has emerged as a custodian of her father's legacy, sharing intimate details from his life in recent years. Her revelations have offered a glimpse into the authentic persona of the iconic entertainer, confirming some of the rumors and shedding light on the lesser-known facets of his character. Contrary to the laid-back and cool persona that Dean Martin projected on stage and screen, his daughter, Dina Martin, has offered insights into the private side of the iconic entertainer. According to Dina, her father was far from the easygoing figure that mesmerized audiences. In fact, at home, he was a strict and traditional Italian father who adhered to a set of rules that underscored the importance of discipline and responsibility. Diana fondly recalls her father's authoritative yet loving approach to parenting, noting that he would lay down the law with a touch of humor. He was an Italian father, she remarked with a laugh. He would go, these are the rules. You make your bed in the morning, you clean up, you come straight home after school, you do your homework, you're on time for dinner, and this is it. If you don't want to live by those rules, there's the door. Dana humorously recounts her own response, saying, I would go. Dad, I'm nine. He'd say, come on, rules are rules. Far from the perceived image of a dedicated or aloof celebrity, Dean Martin was actively involved in the upbringing of his children. Dana emphasized that the family was held to a set of expectations, and while it might have seemed strict, it was rooted in Dean's commitment to instilling values and a sense of responsibility in his children. Despite the public perception of Dean as a private and enigmatic figure, Diana dispels many misconceptions. She revealed that her father, often associated with his suave, on-stage persona and comedic routines, had a kind and gentle side at home. Contrary to the image of a distant celebrity, Dean Martin made it a point to be home for dinner every night. The family would gather, and he and his wife would share a quiet moment with their customary cocktail at the bar. Deanna passionately defends her father's genuine nature, asserting that he was so much more than the character he portrayed in the public eye. He was kind. He was so different from what everybody thought he was. There was no one who could do Dean Martin better than Dean Martin, she affirmed. Despite the public perception of Dean Martin as a legendary ladies' man, a closer examination reveals that labeling him as a womanizer is a misrepresentation of the man behind the charismatic persona. Contrary to the reputations of some of his Rat Pack counterparts, such as Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin was a figure with traditional family values and his personal life was characterized by a level of discretion that went beyond his public image. Patty Grybo, who worked closely with Dean in the 70s and 80s as a backup singer and dancer, attested to the disparity between Dean's public image and his true nature. Dean had a persona of being bigger than life and being basically a womanizer and a skirt chaser, which he was not. He was just a sweetheart of a guy, Gribbo shared with the Desert Sun. This acknowledgement challenges the stereotype often associated with Dean Martin, underscoring that the man known for his suave onstage presence had a more grounded and sincere character offstage. Deanna Martin, who followed in her father's footsteps and pursued a successful career as a singer, actor, and performer, further dispels misconceptions about Dean's lifestyle. Contrary to the belief that he was a heavy drinker, Dina revealed that her father's drinking habits were often exaggerated. He didn't drink that much, she asserted. The disconnect between the public perception of Dean as a constant drinker and the reality of his moderate drinking habits is highlighted by Dina's anecdote about people's reactions after her shows. 
Audience members, influenced by the popular narrative, would express disbelief at how her father could have maintained his prolific career while supposedly constantly drinking. Deanna's response, shedding light on Dean's acting prowess, reinforces the idea that his public persona was, to a certain extent, a crafted image. While many rumors about celebrities often remain unfounded, one particular rumor about Dean Martin proved to be true, as revealed by his daughter Deanna in 2017. Contrary to the popular perception of his ruggedly handsome appearance, Dean had actually undergone a nose job before rising to fame. Dina shared this revelation, providing tangible evidence with photographs. What sets this disclosure apart is the additional detail that Dean made a point to repay the anonymous donor who had provided financial assistance for the surgery, reflecting his sense of integrity and gratitude. Despite his fame and success, Dean Martin remained remarkably grounded, according to his daughter. His celebrity status never went to his head, and he maintained a down-to-earth demeanor whether interacting with royalty, such as meeting the queen or engaging with the local community during visits to the butcher shop. This authenticity and approachability set him apart from other Hollywood stars of his era. Interestingly, other megastars of the time found themselves awestruck in the presence of Dean Martin. Elvis Presley, a cultural icon in his own right, held Dean in high esteem. Deanna recounted a memorable encounter with Elvis, where the king of rock and roll expressed his admiration for her father. Elvis idolized my dad. I remembered meeting Elvis, and he was the one who told me my dad was the king of cool. I'll never forget that, Deanna shared. This acknowledgement from Elvis Presley further attests to Dean Martin's enduring influence and reputation as the epitome of coolness during a golden era of entertainment. Dean Martin's illustrious career reached its poignant conclusion with his final Vegas show in 1991, marking the end of an era for the legendary entertainer. His last reunion with Jerry Lewis occurred on his 72nd birthday, a moment that carried a deep emotional resonance given the complex history of their partnership. However, the final years of Dean Martin's life were shadowed by health challenges. In 1992, a year after his last performance in Las Vegas, Dean Martin received a diagnosis of lung cancer. Faced with the prospect of surgery that could potentially prolong his life, he made a resolute decision to forego the medical intervention. Despite the gravity of his health situation, Dean chose to confront his fate with dignity and on his terms. Tragically, on Christmas Day in 1995, at the age of 78, Dean Martin passed away. The news of his death reverberated through the entertainment industry and beyond, prompting an outpouring of grief. As a testament to his impact, the lights of the Las Vegas Strip were dimmed in his honor, symbolizing the profound loss felt by both the city and the world of entertainment. Frank Sinatra, a close friend and confidant, was deeply affected by the passing of Dean Martin. Sinatra, expressing his heartbreak, described Dean as more than just a friend. Dean has been like the air I breathe, always there, always close by. He was my brother not through blood, but through choice. This sentiment captured the profound bond that existed between the two iconic entertainers, transcending the bounds of mere friendship. In reflecting on his own legacy, Dean Martin had expressed a humble desire to be remembered as a damn good entertainer, nothing spectacular. His wish was to be acknowledged as someone who brought joy and laughter to people's lives, a sentiment that resonated with the warmth and affability he exuded throughout his career. I want them to think he was a nice guy. He did pretty well, and we loved him, Martin had articulated, encapsulating the essence of his enduring appeal and the indelible mark he left on the hearts of those who cherished him. Dean Martin's legacy lives on not only in his vast body of work, but also in the memories of those who were touched by his talent, humor, and genuine charm. What do you think about Dean Martin's life and career? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it.
Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.